Feltman, uh, Jeffrey Feltman, being in Somalia, did, mm -hmm. have, you, have you spoken of that? No, I don't have any. Okay, so I wanted to ask, he's there. They're yeah. tweeting pictures of him with uh, yeah. Farmajo, but what I wanted to know is, given that he's so close to Kenya, and uh, is he, where, where else has he gone on this trip? I was unaware that he was there, and can we get some kind of a readout of this trip, and whether or not it will include Kenya, and you've, Kenya, if you have any update, as more and more people are saying that the results that were put online don't <coughs> line up with what was announced and what the Secretary General congratulated. Is there any updated statement by the UN concerning the uh, not, not from us uh, here. There's a calendar which is uh, playing itself out, and there are institutions that are at work on this. And I'll see what I can get you on Mr. Feldman. And on, on the visit this afternoon to, to City Hall, mm -hmm. it might seem like a strange thing, but there was a debate last night between Bill de Blasio and Sal Albanese. It's an election season I here. Know, yeah. Is it the, the UN, I often hear them say that they don't sort of engage with incumbents while there's a contest or they might, is there any attempt by the Secretary General to reach Mr. Albanese or any of the other candidates or is this a, no, that's a he's, question? He's meeting with the, uh, he's meeting with the mayor of the city of, uh, of New York and I'm not aware of the Secretary General having any contacts with any uh, of the candidates from the Democratic Party, the Republican Party or any other party who are running for the right to sit and work in City Hall. A number of times I'd asked you about Carlos Garcia, who used to be the, f the former permanent representative of El Salvador. Mm -hmm. And in the Englap Seng case, he was shown to have assisted in the laundering of money between Englap Seng and Francis Lorenzo. So I wanted to ask you, there's, a, there's an event tomorrow in Nikosak, which mm -hmm. is uh, um, sponsored by a group which is, uh, has, is linked online and in its founding with Carlos Garcia. And it's listed in a press release that was put out yesterday uh, with the Secretary General meaning to attend the, attend What's the, the event. event? The event is, uh, I'll read you the, the, full, the full title. It's one of these, these long ones. It's called uh, Road to the Future of Sustainable Development, Moving from Commitments to Results Through Inclusive Innovation. And it has a, a press release by the, by the group uh, WOCG talking about life pods. And it says there will be a statement by Antonio Guterres. So my question is, has this group, including its links to, to uh, in its very founding, to Carlos Garcia and Francis Lorenzo, been vetted by the UN. I, I, let me check. I was not aware of, I'm not aware of the Secretary General participating. I will look at Whether into or it. not he participates, I guess my question is, given that these, these exhibits, I, I, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not, yeah, right. I know. I'm, I'm not aware of the event, so I will look into the okay, event. Okay, last time you didn't answer, it just got I canceled. did answer you. Well, yeah, yeah that oh, evening when, well, when the NGO I'm, asked you to. to I, I answered you. Okay. Right. Okay. Well. Okay. Sure. I want to ask you about Yemen. Yesterday I'd asked you about the, that airstrike and you'd said that the UN human rights mechanism is looking into it. Do you have any casualty figures? And I also want to ask you about noted uh, advocate and Sanaa resident Hisham al omesi who's been missing now for 10 days. People say he's in Houthi uh, custody. And I'm wondering whether anyone in the UN system, since the envoy apparently can't speak to the Houthis or they won't speak to him, has anyone in the UN system spo uh, requested the release of, of Mr. omesi I'm aware of his Omeisi? situation. I will, uh, I will check up on it. I don't have any update from our colleagues in Yemen on, uh, on casualties. But I guess the, more <coughs> substantively, is this and I understand the Security Council is calling for all parties to speak to the envoy, but given that it's now been several months that the side, the side in control of Sana'a said they won't speak to him, they don't view him as, as independent or impartial, is this a downside to not having an envoy that can speak to both sides? Who the, in the U.S. system the, is asked for the release the, 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 of Hisham the Secretary Al General's uh, envoy uh, speaks to as many parties as possible and is oh. getting the input of all the parties. Could you get back on this case? Uh, of I, if, if I get something, I will get back to you. Step on, uh, on, on South Sudan, um, there's a very specific, there's a, the, the UN's own uh, Radio Maria has, has confirmed that a WFP plane mm -hmm. crashed into a house and a, and, a, and a child was killed. So obviously that's a tragedy. But what I wanted to ask you about is it quotes the, the uh, uh, UN's Adnan Khan said the UN would provide support to the grieving family, which is commendable. I don't know if it means financial support, and if it does, that's also good. But obviously people, for example, in Haiti are left wondering, what is the, what's the, how is the decision made when a death is, is, is said to be attributable to the UN, people being compensated and, and, and or not being compensated? I think there are two different issues. The issue surrounding Haiti has been litigated. Our position has been clear. Our focus right now is on combating cholera in Haiti uh, and giving support to those communities impacted. WFP has confirmed 
uh, that a five-year-old girl was killed when one of its plane that had just done some airdrops uh, landed at the airport in very bad weather. It's extended its uh, condolences uh, to the family, and it will provide all possible support to them. Uh, an official investigation is underway, and the aircraft will be carefully reviewed to discover why uh, it was so low. It was an Aleutian 76 uh, cargo uh, plane, and it hit a tree and the metal roof of a single-story house as it tried to land at Juba Airport in um, what has been described as very uh, low visibility and heavy rain. Just, and I, and I, it's, a, it's definitely a tragedy. I, I guess what my question is, are, are you referring to litigation? Is it like if this family litigated, then they wouldn't be no, compensated? I think that, or no, I think is there a case. So, no, I no, understand. I, is there a SOFA in place? Is there a status of forces agreement with a compensation panel? There's a SOFA, there's a a sofa, there's a sofa in right. place. And obviously, there needs to be an investigation. What WFP is doing is providing some immediate support, and then the, it will run its course.